Good morning! It's the captain here. I'm Peter. Peter here from uh, uh, a company that we deal with called Westside, who sell us lots of cool products, and one of those products is Mesa Boogie. Yep. And um, <coughs> we've got three new pedals. We've got three new boogie pedals, yep. We've got uh, an EQ of the five band graphic EQ, yep. which is essentially the one from the Mark V. Yep. So 12 dB uh, boost on, on each of these frequencies here. Yep. Um, that's that's what that is. Then you've got a Flux Five, uh, which is the Flux Drive. Yeah. With the Mark Five, the, the EQ in it. Exactly, and this is a tiny little. They've made this small in here to fit, and these little rubber things feel that it feels really nice. It's all very nice. Oh, they are rubber as well, not hard yeah, plastic. Exactly, mm. it feels really lovely. And you've then you can put on EQ. You've got two settings. You've got a high and a low, low mode, and you've got a high trim. So you can actually use it as a solo. We can go let's, through that in a minute. Yeah, we'll do that. And yeah. then the third one. <laughs> then the throttle box EQ, which for those of you who knows the throttle box, and that's a very popular pedal. Yeah. Uh, now you've got it with the EQ. So like a higher, so, so high gain, medium gain, very versatile. Yeah, in your effects loop or cool. front or so boost or whatever. You well, we're playing through. The, we thought we'd use a, a Fender amplifier for this because we kind of, uh, Peter said, why don't we use a boogie amplifier? And I thought, well, if you've got a boogie amplifier, particularly if you've got a Mark V, obviously you're not going to, you've got all this stuff sort of mm. built in. So we thought what we'd do is we'd take out an amplifier, which was very clean, um, and see what, if we could make it sort of sort of be more boogie-ish. Now that the, uh, so we're using a deluxe reverb with um, no drive or anything from here, a little bit of reverb. Uh, so we're going to start with the EQ. Now the EQ is a super versatile pedal because you can run it into the front of your amplifier and use it to sort of boost a driven sound. You can use it almost like um, an always on type pedal, just get a, just change the characteristic of your amp and just leave it on all the time. Yep. Or you can put it through the effects loop of your amplifier. Cleverly on the, um, the boogie one here, you've got an input and an output level. So if you have other pedals in your effects loop that you're having level issues with, too much signal, not enough signal. You can put the uh, the EQ pedal either side of them and adjust the input and output levels to balance it back to a, a sensible level for your amp. Um, so we're using a Les Paul and we've got a Strat down here. We'll do a bit. So I think what's going to happen is whilst Peter's sort of playing, I will put this on. And what we're also going to do is demonstrate this on its own. This is going into the front end of the amp at the moment and how it could just change the characteristics of the Fender. And then I'm going to use it with the flux drive. So the flux drive is going to stay flat. And just imagine, if you like, that that's just our driven amp sound. And we're going to use the EQ to sort of show you how you might do like a solo boosty type thing on um, with that. Happy with that? Sounds good cool. to me. They can all be run on batteries if you want to. Yeah. Or if you've got a little supply like this excellent MXR DC brick thing here, you yep. can use that. Nine instead. volts, all of them. They don't take much. And these are called. Um, Round trees, randoms. If you live in the UK, you can buy these from your uh, any good confectionery store. And I just thought I'd stick them on there because otherwise it all just looked a bit black, don't you think? On here, <laughs> well, that's black. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there we are. So this particular one, um, we we'll do the EQ first. So here's a sound with no pedals at all. Um, so what we've done here is the first kind of sound is a sort of a what we call like an always on sound. So we've just sort of fattened it up a bit. Yeah. smidgen of the amps preamp starting to drive there so um but i think what we'll do we'll, we'll get into that in a second actually let me just i'll, I'll fiddle around with the eq whilst peter's playing
beautiful. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you can see, quite versatile. We only really need kind of five band graphic on a guitar. You're not mm. going to hear much less than 80 hertz on a guitar, and you're not going to hear much more than about, well, this goes up to 6,600 Yeah, you hertz. can use it for other things than guitar as well. I can imagine you can use it for like bass and put it in. You know, it's just a way of EQing an amp, really. Yeah. You're taking some stuff out of it or stuff that you want in or yeah. for recording. Or so really good. let me show you how you might use this as a solo boost now. So if I just pop the uh, the flux drive on, but again, pretty flat with not a lot of gain. So this, uh, but imagine, as I said, this is just how our amp sounds. <laughs> So if you play a little bit of kind of rhythmy stuff, yep. give me the nod. I'll kick this in for a bit of lead. Yeah. You're kind of happy with the sort of, you know. Yeah, we, I like we, mid-range boost on it. Yeah, that's, I think most guitar players would that, that, so we're going to get that cut hopefully cut over the rest of the band. Yeah. So a little bit of rhythmy stuff. <laughs> Something so like that. You get the idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's how you would Easy use with your the, foot. The, the graphic EQ. Now, of course, if you end up buying a pedal like the Flux Drive, you, of course, Flux have five. the Flux 5, even. What did I say? Flux Drive. A oh, Flux 5, sorry. Flux 5. I thought I'd, say, <laughs> I thought I'd pronounced Flux wrong for a minute yeah. there, as opposed <laughs> to just the 5 bit wrong. You left the, um, the L out. Did you? Yes. Um, so now we're going to leave this off. So if you've got the Flux 5, of course, you've got the graphic EQ built in. Yeah. So as well as being. It's kind of like a dual mode drive pedal. Yes. So we've got a high, high and a and low then. drive setting. Yeah. We can elect to have the five band EQ on or off, depending on whether we're on the low or the high mode. Yep. We've got a master bass and treble, master yep. level, master gain. Exactly. And also this high trim, which differentiates, if you like, or gives you a little bit more control over how much difference there is between the high and the yeah. low. So you boost. can use that as a solo yeah. mode. Yeah. So we've got hit and bypass uh, will, and this light will go yellow. That's our low mode. Yeah. And we've got hardly any gain here at all. So we'll have a fiddler. I'll, I'll leave it in low mode, and I'll fiddle with the settings so you guys can see. And then I'll switch the low EQ on. Keep fiddling. So you you just play, and I'll okay. fiddle. <laughs> Just 
That was just uh, the That's low just mode. the low mode. Yeah. Um, so you got so much control over your sound was, with the with the EQ. That's the only. I suppose that's the only downside of the of the more compact version of the EQ. You move the slider like a millimeter. Yeah. And it's like whoa, completely different sound. Yeah. I think um, they worked a lot on on actually getting that right. You know, yeah. you have to you have to work about. Do you notice this little thing here as well? Yeah. The metal bar, so you can't kick it. So once right. you set it, it's yeah. quite clever that you actually have that. Yeah. I would it's like not that a on a lot of. It's not it's like a, a carry handle for a very small person. Then, no. <laughs> I'm just going to a gig. <laughs> uh, no, that is not what it is. Uh, but I think it's really clever, and I think a lot of pedals could actually do with this. Yes. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I tend to sometimes kick, kick it when I yeah. do a gig. Kick and it. Kick it. Um, just before your solo to um, <laughs> was it Run DMC? I can't remember now. <laughs> and show. Anyway, so anyway, let's, anyway. Do, let's do the high mode. So, so that was the the low mode. Yeah. Um, and of course, as I said, the, the clever bit now with this high trim is is that as well as it just being a different sort of a gain pedal, you you can you can use it as your solo kind of mode. So here's yeah, on uh, the high. and it's like the having the solo switch on the Lone Star, right? You know that sort of solo knob, if yes. you, if you will. So. <laughs> Watch the light. When it goes yellow, it's low. Red is high. So, and there is so much, you know, you get it's so much so, out of that little pedal. It's so typically boogie, isn't it? Because yeah. it's like, if there's, you know, if you've ever played, uh, if you've ever gone into a store, played with a boogie amp before, it's basically, the, the, the tonal options are vast. Mm. And I think that's kind of why there's a sort of a boogie fan club and a boogie kind of hate club almost in a way, isn't there? Because it, it's just... Some people just want to go in, and if you've had a Fender in the past, or you've had a Marshall in the past, you kind of know that the EQ controls, particularly on a Marshall, don't do an awful lot. You just yeah, plug it in, you sort of just go bang, 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 and off you go. Yeah. On a boogie, it is like, you know, you take the EQ control, and I move it by, I move one EQ slider by a millimetre, and yeah. it's like, it's a different amplifier. Yeah. And so you've got to, it's very gratifying if you're one of those guys that wants to sit and go, I've oh, just got it, just tweak it, just, 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 right. just like there. And then I suppose it's equally frustrating if you're one of these guys that can't be bothered to do all that. Yeah, there's just one one with, you know, mm. gain and level on it yeah. and tone. Yeah. But that's, you know, they... But it's they, very they, cool, very versatile. It's like Eric Johnson would, you know, he would love stuff yeah. like this because you can actually tweak it perfectly yeah. to how you, you want need, it. You, yeah. you need to get your iPhone camera out, don't you? And when you get the magic set, like, <laughs> quickly take the photo <laughs> take just the in photo, case. You exactly. Know. But, um, yeah. So that's the that's the flux drive. Yeah. Feature-wise, if we jump over to the throttle drive, it's almost the same set of features. I think we've got but one other... The throttle box is the same as the throttle box... Normal throttle box, isn't the front, front, can't front say it? Can't you? you can't even say it. It's the Danish <laughs> accent. Throttle box. <laughs> It's not um, very popular in Denmark, this pedal, because no one can actually nobody say, can its name. say throttle. <laughs> <laughs> but it's quite cool as well. You've got the same thing, almost the same features. So, the, so mid cut, does that work whether you're on high or low? Or yep. is that just so that's. And you, the, the boost was before, there was an internal switch yep. in, the, in the normal throttle box. Yeah. Uh, now it's on the top here, so you can. And that, and that works on either it. channel as well? Mm -hmm. or? Fine. Okay. So let, let's just give this a row. So again, is it the same deal? Is it yellow and red? Or? Yellow and red, same deal. Cool. Uh, let's take the EQ out. I'll, you can, I'll do the you same, can do the same thing. Before. So we'll start with the EQ off. We should just say, actually, what we yeah. have got, rather oh, yes. than bass and treble, yes. we've just got tone. But the two 
high and low modes now have their own independent volume control. So That's it. here yep. we go. So Correct. we start with low. saying before when we were messing around that the fender amp is so bright it's a very you know yeah, much clean. much brighter than if you had say much brighter than if you had say a ac30 or or um i don't know about a marshall so much no, marshall's a, bright. A, a pretty bright as well yeah. but um certainly I, I, I we were finding some of the better tones in here were with the particularly as the gain was going up was you had to compensate by sort of rolling the tone back yeah. down a little bit didn't you that's and, with the amp isn't it but um, that just goes to show that you can use these pedals yeah. with any amp you yeah. don't have to to be a boogie amp but you can get that sort of boogie flavor yeah. especially from a rectifier yeah. with this one here yeah i mean it's, it's it's uh, it's fierce isn't it fierce and it very is. and very versatile i mean again it's, you know, but basically, I suppose the idea with this, if you have a single channel amplifier with a reasonable sort of clean tone on it, this is everything yeah. that you need to make it a multi-channel functional kind of it is. do a bit of everything yeah. amplifier, uh, guitar amp. Yeah. Presumably as well, as with all boogie stuff, built like a tank. Yep. It is um, built like tanks, isn't it? I think we had a look inside one of these when we did the original throttle yeah. box. Um, yeah. It's, it's really, and it's built in, in Pentaluma, California, all handmade and, you know, by the, the original people. And... So, Crazy expensive? You tell me. I can't remember. <laughs> Can we look it up? Something in the back of my mind says these were about three hundred a pop. Yeah, I don't think uh, they're that much actually. Are they not? Okay. I, don't know. I think they're less what, than that. I tell you what. Why don't you? Because we promised them we would do this at the beginning. Why don't you grab that strap? Yeah. Plug into like have a, a flux drive lift. or something. Have, have a noodle. Lift. Imagine this is like an intermission. Whilst yep. I look up how much the prices are on these. And uh, yeah. <laughs> As, as I thought they yeah. are. Um, the uh, the EQ pedal is one ninety nine. Not too bad. Uh, and the two drive pedals are both two forty nine. And weirdly, if you look at our internet listing, we've used a much bigger picture of the throttle box than we have of the flux drive. So it's misleading, isn't it? But we can. Ah, yes, if you're on our website, yeah. and you're thinking, my goodness me, is the, the throttle box really twice the size of the flux drive? No, it isn't. That's just perspective. <laughs> As you can see, they're both the same size. Exactly. Bottom um, box EQ, Flux 5. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, there we Good go. Purpose. Not yeah. a bad little demo. I'm going to eat this. Uh, which was the one you licked? It was that well, one. Was that one, 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 this one yeah. You have this one. Look, open wide. There you are. That's it. That's the end of the video. 